Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we're going to be playing with some abstract backgrounds and using stencils to create a focal image on our page. So I'm starting off on my watercolour page in my Dina Wakeley journal and I'm just using some of my gloss sprays and actually pouring them straight onto the page. So this is an ungessoed page um, so you can see the ink sort of soaking into the page straight away. And I'm just using the stems to help move it around the page to create a really abstracty type effect in the background. So the first colour I used was mineral and then I used some of the marine over the top. And as you can see they're analogous colours, they work really well together um, tone on tone. You can add in as many or as few little stripes as you want. It's really, I found when I was doing this, it was really hard to kind of stop. I wanted to control it more and I really couldn't. Um, one thing I suppose to help you make it make sense on the page, I suppose, is just to make sure that whatever you're doing connects to the edges. So you can see it's connected to at least three edges on my page. If I had that pool without those little connections to the edge, it would look sort of really odd. Um, and it would need something, I suppose, to pull it together. So once I've finished with this really quick background, I'm just going in with my heat tool and drying it off. So you can see, because my page isn't gessoed, it is soaking in really quickly into the background. And you can also see um, that the colour sort of darkens and deepens, having the colours react to each other. So that gilt over the top of the marine has made that a lot darker with a uh, Slight, slight green tone to it as well. So to add to my background I'm going in with some extra stenciling. So I was finding with some of the areas it just needed something extra to sort of pull it together. So again I'm using the same colours I've used in the background so I'm using some gilt and just adding in some extra pattern work with this um, mask from the Stencil Girl. So it's got these lovely sort of boxes and just interesting bits and pieces that are helping to add a little bit of interest into those big expanses of colour that just need a little bit of extra to break them up somewhat. So I'm not using very much paint at all and you can see me pouncing it out until I've really got rid of everything that's on the sponge. Um, one of the keys to, to stenciling is to not have too much paint on. You don't want anything sort of over and blah, 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 seeping under your stencil can't speak properly uh, so you sort of get a really soft effect so you can sort of see now by adding the extra color over the top it ties it together and I think I did actually tell a fib just then because I said I used gilt I think I actually used penny which is a coppery color so this is another stencil from stencil girl which I really love I think it's called the honor girl I'm not 100% sure and I wanted to use it but I wasn't sure how I was going to use it on my page but I, I wanted to have it as a bit of a focal image so I'm going in with the leftover um, copper that I had on my pa page but my sponge was actually already dirty it had some mineral on it as well so it's kind of a mixed color and I sort of getting a bit of a um, shadow in the background sorry I'm just trying to think of my words so what I wanted to do was kind of have a little bit of a shadow that I could offset the stencil somewhat and have some of that metallic color peeping out through behind it so I'm going to re-stencil over this and just shift the stencil slightly and I'm using night so I've got a really dark neutral on the page so you can see me line up my stencil and then shift it Um, yep, there you go. <laughs> so um, I really haven't moved all that much, but it'll be enough to give you a bit of a um, glimmer behind the image. So you can see now having that um, stencil go back over the top of this, you get a really cool effect when I come out. I'm not going right up to the edges of this stencil. I'm actually deliberately avoiding the edges because I don't want that really harsh black line um, or a corner in my piece. I want that image to sort of be coming out of that blob in the middle so um, you can see that happening. 
I decided that I actually wanted to put this stencil on as well. Now's the time. No, it didn't fit. So I actually went on to do that in a different video, which I um, have published. So um, you'll see that as well. The Because they're both 12 by 12 stencils, it actually works really well. They sit one under the other. But in this video, because I'd put the face in the center of the page, I didn't have enough room to put that stencil underneath. So I decided to go with my another favorite in my arsenal, which is this stencil, which is just a whole heap of affirmations of word, really positive words. And I just love it. I just love the varying fonts and sizes and shapes of the letters in this. So what I'm doing is, again, I haven't, I'm using the same sponge I've been using to um, sponge with, and I've got a little bit of night and a little bit of the mineral out. And you can see I'm sort of mixing it so I get this sort of soft color. You can see some of that gold coming out through and it just sort of pushes that figure out of the background. It pushes the other abstract background in, into the background a little bit more as well. So by using the same colors I've used on the page, it just helps to tie the whole thing together. So now I'm going through my um, chipboard stash and I've recently got some of the new Tim Holtz um, Halloween chipboard quotes and um, I've been using those a lot so I'm not particularly a Halloween-y person but I thought this one worked really well. She cast a wicked spell because it really sort of she just has that look and I think the way she's got the stripes and the look on her face, she actually really reminds me from the witch of um, Alice, not Alice in Wonderland, <laughs> the Wizard of Oz, can't think. Um, so I sort of was getting those vibes from the page. So I hope you break out your stencils to have a go at making a focal image. It's lots and lots of fun. Have a go at pouring your gloss sprays onto the background too. It's a great way to make an abstract background without too much control. Until next time, bye for now.